on the Jaguar that I'm building currently, there was a small tutorial in the interior build video of wood graining a steering wheel. I figured not everybody would watch that video, so I'd do a separate tutorial on how I did this process. First off, I'm going to be applying the base color for the wood effect. This can be airbrushed on or just done with a brush. Personally, I don't think it really matters as all the steps coming after this are being brushed on as well. With the first brown tone applied, I moved on to dry brushing a second lighter brown tone on top. I'm just applying a bit of paint to the brush and then wiping most of it off on the paper towel and then going randomly over the steering wheel all different ways, shapes and forms to create a nice grain effect. Depending on which look you're after for the wood, that also depends on the colors that you're going to be using. In this case, I wanted to have a darker grain in there as well. Firstly, I started with the two lighter and darker brown tones, and now I'm just going to add a black to it. I'm going to be applying the black to a paper towel, adding a lot of thinner to it to make it extremely thin and also a bit transparent, then wiping most of that black off of the brush again, just like I did with the brown tones, and then going to be randomly applying it to the steering wheel. And after the black is applied, we're going to move over to a orange brown tone. This is orange rust which again will be dry brushed on as well. I applied a little bit on the paper towel, added a lot of thinner to it to make it extremely thin and also a bit transparent. It will blend all the other colors underneath together just a little bit, but it will still add even more of the wood grain finish. Now this by itself doesn't really look all that good yet. The finishing touch still needs to be applied and that is a really thick coat of Tamiya Clear Orange. This will blend all the colors together and give it that actual wood grain look. So like I said before, depending on the actual wood type you are looking for to recreate, you can use different colors of browns, black, gray, and even the final coat of finish can be done with different colors of clear paint. You can use a clear smoke that is a sort of transparent black, also yellow, or even a clear red, again, all depending on the wood grain finish you're after. It was a bit hard to show this on video, so I took some photos of the close-ups as well to show the exact result. To finish off the steering wheel, there was a decal that needed to be applied into the center. That is probably for the horn and also has a nice logo on it. And I also added some panel line accent color to all of these smaller cutouts in the rest of the steering wheel. The technique shown, of course, was used on a steering wheel in this video, but it can be used for other parts as well. 